Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. So we have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Sexual Encounter. Oh, here we go. We have Justice, Libra Energy. Clarify the High Priestess. The Five of Cups. Yeah. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. All right, that's too many. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles, Spirit. The Two of Swords. Clarify the sexual encounter card. Sexual encounter, we have ripped apart. Oof. <laughs> what? All right, tell me about justice. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Mmm. So, you guys may be able to, like, feel. Somebody is, like, in sadness or regret here. Like, and you guys may be able to feel this energy. Like, this person may be trying to act or something like they, they're not in regret or they're not sad over you or something like that. But Spirit says you need to look beyond what you see. Or it's just like something here about maybe something you feel. You were dealing with somebody, this your twin, or this could be you, take it how it resonates. Somebody was just indecisive about whether or not they wanted to maybe like wait on a situation or they wanted to invest in this or what they wanted for the long term. All right. Or maybe somebody literally maybe had a choice about whether or not. Who, who they wanted to invest in. They could have had a choice. Like they didn't know if they wanted to invest in you or if they wanted to invest in somebody else. Um, yeah, you were definitely dealing with somebody that was resisting this, not making up their mind about the connection. You guys could have maybe had some type of sexual encounter with this person. Like um, I heard recently, you could have had a recent sexual encounter with this person or maybe like you had a more like they, they you know, how do I say that? This person was never like emotionally vulnerable with you, but they had like more of like lustful intentions with you. Just saw 344 on the camera. So yeah, take that. <laughs> um, ripped apart. Yeah, somebody is like starting to realize something. I feel like some of you guys maybe had an encounter with this person. It, I don't know. We're going to get more clarity on what that is. But it's like someone's heart chakra is like activating or something here. Like someone's becoming more vulnerable. Seeing the truth about something here. Or maybe you guys are starting to see that somebody maybe only has lustful intentions for you, but there is some type of like, somebody feels like they need to do right by you. Like, and they, what they feel like doing right by you would be like them offering you commitment, offering you something stable. Or spirit is saying that you're gonna get what you deserve. Meaning like you could have somebody coming in where there will be a steady union. It will, cause it says, it could, this could be new. This could be a new stable offer coming in for you. But you're, you've definitely been de dealing with somebody that this, your twin, has been resisting the connection. So clarify sexual encounter and ripped apart. Yeah, cold as ice. Yeah, someone was like giving you mixed signals or they were like just acting like they were unemotional. What's the tr what's So what does this mean? King of Wands. Could be a fire sign, an Aries Leo, or a Sag. What about this King of Wands? Yeah, they're, they definitely have passion for you. Empress, wow, they think that you are... The, they view you as the empress, Taurus energy, divine femme, divine masculine energy, okay? Tower. What's the, so Scorpio energy, what was the tower that happened here? That's so, a, a, a painful ending here. Some type of truth was exposed. Possibly has something to do with a sexual encounter. Like maybe you found out about this, I don't know. What does this have to do with this connection? Make, yeah, what making things manifest. What you want wants you. What does that have to do with my collective? Seven of Cups. Mm. You're going to maybe have options in love or something here. Lessons. And we have Hierophant. Hmm. Death and ending. Yeah, leading to growth and happiness. You have. You guys may have somebody new coming in. I'll be honest. Like, I mean, or it could be, you know. You don't always end up with your twin in this lifetime, especially if they're they're still resisting the connection. But it's like, what is what does justice mean for their twin? That they're yeah, it says King of Wands. Maybe they're what about the King of Wands and Justice? See, they they want to make something manifest with you. 
Yeah. They are like wanting to take charge of a situation and like take the lead and like come in and offer you something like, uh, like they want a steady, they want to manifest a steady union with you. So tell me how this relates to my collective though at this time. The, <laughs> of course, divine timing. Patience is needed. Surrender to the unknown. So in a nutshell, what Spirit is saying is that this person who you've been grieving or you've been sad over or who is trying to act like they don't have feelings for you, um, they couldn't make up their mind about you. You definitely had like maybe some type of sexual encounter with this person. I want to know what is ripped apart. That's what I need. What is ripped apart? Vulnerable in love, love, ex yeah, wishing, replaying events, suffering in silence. Mm, what's that mean for this person? Waiting, feelings of neediness, hopeful they'll return. Somebody's hoping that you'll return to them. So it's like somebody like knows how they feel about you. Did you snatch this? You guys could have like slept. You guys slept with this person or something like that. There was definitely a sexual encounter. Okay. But it like snatched this person's soul or something. I don't know. But <laughs> they're like hoping and wishing that you come to them. But I feel like at some point. Yeah. See, they're still indecisive. Nine of wands in this defense. Why are they indecisive about my collective spirit? They're trying to get you to. They want you back. I just saw 744 on the camera. They want you back, but they want to manifest you or manifest something with you, but you set like firm boundaries with them or something like that. Yeah, the fool. Maybe they feel like you're you're stepping into like a new cycle or something like that. Yeah, breakthrough. Four of cups. Somebody's okay, nine of cups. Somebody is realizing that they missed an opportunity for like they went they missed out on their wish fulfillment. And, have, and they may have missed out on it, guys, because either, oh gosh, hold on. They may have missed out on an opportunity with you because, first of all, they felt like you guys are maybe too different. That could have been one. Or it could have been that family, they listened to their family and their friends. Their friends and family didn't approve of you or something like that. Or they maybe even have, like, controlling. They're holding on to some type of controlling, toxic family or something like that. This person's not going to let you go though. Like maybe you guys may not be speaking, but I don't see them letting you go. This person is like they know how they feel about you. Can give me one more card about what ripped apart means for this their twin, the other person. Yeah, they want to What does this mean for my collective? Ripped apart in the fool. The hermit, okay? 7 of, Ooh, what's this mean for my collective? Temperance. The Emperor. What is Seven of Swords for this person? Six of Cups. Uh-oh. Internal conflict. This person doesn't know if they want to leave the darkness, stay in the darkness, or leave the darkness and come into the light with you. They're just very internally conflicted here. Yeah, but what's, in a nutshell, I can already see, like, what this is saying is that, like, in divine timing, there's this person that's going to feel like, because you guys still have like a soul contract with this person. They're going to want to come in and make things right with you. And they, what they, they feel like their version of making things right with you is coming in and offering. It's like a gift, a steady union, a stable offer, commitment. That, that They want that. They, they're, that's what they are wanting to manifest with you. But it's going to happen in divine timing. What is blocking this union, spirit? Tell me what's blocking this union. See, it's something to do with the past. Yeah, it could be like a past lover. It could be that for some of you, they may have went back to a past person, but it's something to do with the, the past or it could even be childhood trauma or something like that. Knight of, what, what's, what, tell me about the Six of Cups and how that's blocking this union. How is the Six of Cups blocking the union? Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Some type of painful betrayal from the past. Painful ending from the past. What's this have to do with my collective? Knight of Swords. The moon. You you met this person. Wow, this person thinks you're too good to be true. This person's been hurt before. Betrayed. They could have inner child wounds. I don't know. They have a lot of crap going on, right? But it's like this person wasn't expecting you. It's like this person really like they they feel like they've been swept off their feet by you. And they weren't expecting you when you came in. I feel like you you came into this person's life to either trigger them to finally heal. And like the, now they're going to be going on this journey of healing or you came into their life when they were in the process of still healing. And that's why, and they felt like you were too good to be true. 
And I feel like that's why they were like still stuck in this illusion of the past. 11, 11 on the camera. So that's why things were like still complicated, very complicated. Okay. So, and also money. They chose, for some of you, they were too, they chose their money, chose money over love or money was affecting your relationship. It's time and Cherry. It's like at some point. Yeah, exactly. They have to go through the dark night of the soul. Like they need to heal. They need to like, yeah. But it's like, they're going to come out of this. They are going to come out of this. And it's, Spirit says, divine intervention. It's time. No more running. Like, they're not, if they ran from you, it's going to become a time where they're going to stop running from you. Okay. And they're going to want to come in and give you something solid. So let's get more clarity on this. You have healing heart. So, yeah, opening. Someone needs to heal. Yeah, healing old emotional pains. It's like someone's, like, in the process of, like, the divine's working on your person. Or, like, this person's working on themselves. Like, they're starting to heal. Their heart is starting to open. Like, their heart chakra. Like, they have they had a lot of things that I feel like they had never dealt with. Like, this could also be you. The hand of fate. Yeah, fate. Yeah, you and this person were fated to meet each other and counter each other. Yeah, the hand of fate, fated events, fated relationship forces beyond your control. Tell me more, more about how that relates to this connection. Explore the waters. There's so, see, yeah, figure out what you really want. Maybe like there is a need for you and this person to date other. There, it says, because it says there's someone better. Keep your options open. Keep, figure out what you really want. So, Spirit is encouraging you at this time to be, don't put all your eggs in one basket when it comes to this person. They're telling you that there is something better than what, whatever you've been getting from this person. There's something much better for you. I just saw 44 on the camera again. So that reading is literally, didn't I just say this person wasn't going to let you go? And now that I'm thinking about it, that reading, that, that reading I was talking about earlier about 444, 444, that reading was about someone's not going to be able to let you go. And that's literally what I was saying in this reading too. So yeah, they're probably connected. Um, it's like, even if this person goes out there and explores, what, see, what does this mean? Tell me more about explore the waters, the moon. Yeah. Fears and insecurity. Things are not as they seem. There's information yet to be revealed. Okay. Tell me more. Consuming passion. See, yeah. What does this have to do with my collective? Cost of vanity. Yeah. This person was living in some type of illusion guys. And like, this person maybe thought that they could find something better than you. I'm be honest with you. They didn't want to settle down with just you. They couldn't see you for who you were, right? You were dealing with like a serial dater, like a serial cheat, like somebody that usually dates multiple people. They don't settle down usually or something like that. But something about you. Yeah, it's like something about you. This person feels vulnerable or something when it comes to you. This person, th for some reason, they were thinking that there was something better than you. And like Spear says that this is a faded event. Like this person has to go through this. This may be a part of, yeah, you could be dealing with a narc, superficial relationship, living in an illusion. Yeah. Lustful desire, sexual chemistry, infatuation. Somebody thought that this was just sexual for some of you, but it's like they weren't seeing it for what it was. They're going to start seeing things differently at some point. Yeah. Key to closed doors. Access to new experiences. What was closed before is now opening, unlocking mysteries. So what is all this cost of vanity, consuming passion? They know that I told you this person has a strong, like they have a lot of passion for you, but I feel like they thought that maybe that's all it was. So what does this mean going forward for my collective? What does this mean going forward? Wow. I'm telling you the Empress y'all came out again. Wow. Look at this y'all. This is insane. We have the Empress and twin flame. This person's going to be realizing. That you're the empress, like that you were the divine femme, the divine masculine. And I already mentioned that earlier in this reading. 
And that, yeah, it says twin flame. Yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang, life forever changed. Tell me more about what that means for this person. The, the empress and twin flame, what does that mean for this person? See, negative emotions. Why are they in that negative energy? <laughs> Painting. See, it's like... Painting. It's like they're holding on to something. Making the best out of a bad situation. Correcting and improving something. This person's trying to heal. Like, I feel like they're trying to get over some type of anger and resentment. What does this have to do with my collective? They're just a very negative. Yeah. Refreshing. They're going to come towards you in a very refreshing new energy. Or maybe you've been... Oh. Maybe this energy is you. Yeah, pleasantly different from the usual type. You're different from what they're used to. The people that they're usually surrounded by. Yeah, they're usually surrounded by a lot, a lot of negativity. And it's like they've been just trying to like deal with it. Because it's making the best out of a bad situation. But it's like you're like this refreshing new energy to them. Interesting and stimulating. Tell me more about that. Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, they just feel like you guys are so different. That's maybe, it may, for some of you, it could have been, they can maybe have toxic, negative family around them or friends. For others of you, it was like you, you were so different from what they were used to. They are in the darkness. You are the light. They are not used to the light, right? They haven't been sure if they want to step into that yet. But it says they, they feel like you, you are the beauty and they're the beast. Major differences. Feeling love life is cursed. Desperately looking for true love. Like they... Tell me more about that. You see how this, yeah, like look at the, look, yeah, mm -mm, tell me. Sacred cycles. Let go of the old, honor the cycle you were in. What goes around comes around. What does that mean for this person? Planets, so something, ooh, this person's about to get some karma. <laughs> this person, I'm here in Saturn retrograde because, yeah, what goes around comes around. Or like so either they're going to be closing out some, letting go of some type of cycle that they needed to let go of during this, like either during Saturn retrograde, Venus retrograde. We have a lot of shit going on in the universe right now. We are like, I think it's Pluto, Saturn. Uh, we're about to go into Mercury retrograde next. Like, there's like literally like four or five planets that are in retro are going to be in retrograde from now until like November. It's crazy. So there's about to be a lot of changes, like planetary influences. Yep. I don't know. Tell me more about what the planetary vibes and the cycles. A loyal companion. Loyal and devoted. What does this have to do with my collective? Man, see, you guys are manifesting something. I feel like this person may be getting bad karma and you may be getting good karma. Like you guys maybe are, something is, somebody's going to be getting, manifesting a loyal and devoted companion, an unconditional love. Someone that will be like nurture and protect manifesting dreams your power is activated everything is flowing easily to you so it's like you you've cleared some type of blockage here if you've been trying to manifest somebody that will be loyal to you and devoted to you the blockage has been cleared why see somebody yeah on a pedestal great admiration idealizing and denying flies feeling they're out of your league okay so what does this have to do with their their twin this manifestation right they're about to come in and give you some type of recognition here yeah, things are about to change. Favorable outcome, recognition, joyful transformation. Yeah, the feeling is mutual, equal. They're going to come in and give you something balanced. We have justice here. Why? What's making this person want to come in and give this to them now? See, ancient history, ancestral karma, gifts from the ancestors. Oh, so maybe your ancestors have something to do with this? Why is this person wanting to come in now? Key to closed doors. That already showed itself. So yeah, it's like something that you thought was blocked or never going to happen. It says it's, it's, that's now going to be opened. Why? If maybe just as a gift from the ancestors, creeping doubt. And you're going to be, he you guys may feel like when this comes in, it's too good to be true. Skeptical. Yeah, the Grim Reaper. Ooh. Cutting something or someone off, clearing away the old. So that's why something is like, what does that have to do with my collective? Epiphany, discovery or realization, sudden insight into reality. Deep, dig deep for answers. Tell me more. Love triangle. Ooh, what is this about? What does that have to do with their twin? Use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you. Mm, because why? Closed off. See? Guarded emotional blocks. Avoiding them. You just... So that's why they're telling you you need to listen to your intuition. But like, I don't know. There's two conflicting energies here. Like I see you guys got to get rid of somebody that is like this. 
What is this closed off and usually what does this mean for their twin? Yeah, fighting and arguments, disagreements, not on the same page. So why are, are they coming back with this offer? Ongoing battle. It's like you there's still stuff that's yet to play out between you and this person. I feel like Spirit is saying though that you need to like they're gonna continue to try to like engage with you and be like guarded or something like that. And they may be still trying to engage with you and also hold on to somebody else. Yeah, it's like, but what is the the epiphany? Temptation. Ooh. Yeah, tempting offers, desire, seduction. What is that? What does that do with temp epiphany? Blessed union. Meant to be together. Love that transforms. Okay, so who's having that epiphany? Is it this their twin? Outside influences. Yeah, what about these outside influences? Daydreaming. What? They could have definitely. Yeah, something about their somebody's social circle is a problem. Yeah, somebody's um. But this is going to be an un un unbreakable bond. Like I told you, this is not going anywhere, but it may be slow progress here. But I do see like a victory here. Huh. How We have that the door is opening, but like all this other. Okay, why is the door opening? A closed door is not opening. Spiritual death. Somebody's going through a rebirth process. Self a dark night. So after somebody goes through a dark night of the soul, then they, that's what's going to open the door. So how do they need to handle this? How do they need to handle this spirit? Unfoldment. Breaking free. They're telling you to break. Don't. What was that card I was just looking at? Um, yeah, this. They're telling you that when this person approaches you, you need to really listen to your intuition. They're going to be approaching you out of regret and sadness. Like they're going to be in this negative energy or something like this, but and still not really even know what they want. Spirit's saying you have to kind of like make head over heart decisions when dealing with this person at this time being. I'm going to read this again. It says, give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let your emotions control you. And they're telling you to break free and bloom. Spiritual awakening, connecting with your higher self. Tell me about use your head. Tell me about use your head. Complexities. Yeah, about some type of tricky, yeah, hard to figure out, tricky situation, situationship. Yeah, they're going to return. They're going to return and want to, but they're still going to be, have some type of karmic karma. They're going to be going through it, guys. That's what I'm getting. I'm telling you, this person's about to get some karma. And they're going to, like, kind of come towards you. See. All the dice. Deep wisdom. Yeah. And what? See. Okay. Yeah. I do feel like at some point this person is going to come towards you and give you some. They're, just know they're coming towards you. What they have a lot of chaos going on in their life. They're going through karma. They're going to come towards you while they're in the midst of karma. They're going to they possibly going through karma with like or some chaos with a, a third party, a karmic because we have karmic ties here. There's outside influences. It could be family. It could be a, another lover or an ex or somebody that they went to, back to. I don't know, but it says karmic relationship, karmic situations, debt not for you. So they're still holding on to something that's not for them that they need to disconnect from. That they need to break free from. This person's going to try to put you in a situation ship if you let them. They're going to be going through some type of messy, tricky situation when they come towards you. Drama. I do feel like this person does have genuine love for you. Or they know that you genuinely love them. Yeah, that you're very kind and loving and gen generous. And they know that they can trust you. Um, but what is the T? What is the T? Infinite abundance. They may be hearing that you are like... A lot of good things are happening for you. You're living a prosperous life. Yeah, you maybe even have like in a windfall of money, or you're in this energy. It's like you're, you're you're you have a big heart, right? But you are also getting into this energy where you know your worth and your value. So, yeah, beauty and grace, romantic and sexual love. Explore your desires. What's have to do with this person? Religious factors, differences. They're going through some type of spiritual lessons. Yeah. They're going to want to like have a friends with benefits situation tip chip type shit with you. They're coming in to waste your time. I don't really know. Yeah. It's like this person just knows that you love them. They may know that you, they may feel like you're going out and meeting new people and you're going out and having fun with your friends. They know that you're one of a kind. People don't want to lose somebody that they know that they're never going to find another one of you. You know what I mean? Like. This person is going to, if they did go out there and try to explore other options, they're going to start realizing that you're irreplaceable. 
So it's like this person, maybe this is maybe something that's happened before. They come back towards you when they can't replace you, when they can't find anything that matches your energy. When, but they're about to be going through. To, give me more. Just know that this person, they're telling you when this person comes towards you to read between the lines, be wise, pay attention. You can see, you see the truth about this person. They've shown you the truth. Believe them. All right. It says that don't ignore the red flags. There's lies and deception there. They're not coming towards you with the, it's a risky situation. Okay. Um, let's see. Follow the signs. Yeah. You are not alone. Yeah. Right here waiting. They think that, oh, this person thinks that they can come back towards you whenever they want to. Pretty, yeah. And just settle down with you. Yeah. They'll return. I say one time at some point they will want to settle down with you, but I feel like they got to go through it. They have karma. They about to get karma. Tell me more about their karma spirit. The young. Uh Oh, what about the young in in karma? The T gossip talking about you having a reputation. What about the young and the T long wolf? Ooh, free. What about long wolf children? Straw and alchemy, receiving, reviving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. Miss, lack of action, procrastination, reluctance to make an effort. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know what children is. Spirit, what is there? What does children have to do with anything? What does children have to do with the situation and karma? Three of Swords. Uh oh, some type of heartbreaking situation over children, or something to do with third party and children. That's a part of their karma. Tell me more. Queen of Swords. Boundaries, independent, not falling in love easily. What does this have to do with children? Two of Pentacles, juggling, waiting. Yeah, feelings of neediness. What does this have to do with children? Page of Wands, fleeting love. Oh, no. What about this? Ten of Pentacles. What does this have to do with my collective? The Empress. The four, somebody's realizing they're going to realize that they missed an opportunity with you. They maybe chose somebody over you that is this queen of swords. That they don't, there's no love there. They were juggling or something here, but they, if they did have people, they were very like fleeting. I still don't understand what that has to do with children. Taking, I don't know. Lesson separation is necessary. Yeah. Six of swords, five of wands. They're moving away from some type of conflict or they're, they're going to, let's see, children, queen of wands. I don't know. Lovers, Gemini energy. They're going through something crazy and children could be involved. I don't know, but they're definitely realizing with the Empress and the four of cups that they miss, they, they feel that like they missed an opportunity. Hmm. All right. Let me see here. Let's take a look. And then I'm done with this. We have trying to score. Yeah, purely sexual, no serious intentions. Mm. Suffering in silence. Yeah, that already came out. Hiding pain. This person's putting on a front. They're wearing a facade. That they're not sad over you, that they're not in pain, but they are. Past life karma. Yeah, this person has karma to sort out. Karmic cycle, karmic debts. Tell me more. Knows your, but you know your worth now. So it's like this person, you're not going to settle for this person coming towards you with these, the situation ship crap that they want, that if they're not going to treat you right and value you, what is trying to score sex? See this person, like they like sleeping with you. Yeah. Like they, they always, they like sleeping with you. 
Yeah, but you can't trust them. Hidden agenda, lies, selfish intentions. Yeah. Upcoming trip. What does that have to do with anything? Choosing to ignore. Um, cold shoulder, ignoring a problem. What is, see, there's something here about somebody neglected their responsibilities or they procrastinated something. What does that have to do with their person, their twin or whoever? Yeah, their twin. What about them? So they, you, they're they sabotaging this connection right now, guys. The twin is in full, they've been in full force self-sabotage or sabotaging this connection. They chose to ignore. I feel like you and this person were supposed to go on this journey together. What is upcoming trip? They will return. Oh. I feel like they're telling you that they're, they're, I don't understand what that has to do with upcoming trip. Scared of rejection. Somebody wants to come towards you. They may want to go on a trip with you. I don't know, but they could live at a distance from you. Clarify upcoming trip again. Third party involved. See? What? They will return. It's like they're going on like a journey. I feel like what's happening it's like that you guys are going on separate paths for right now. Like, that's what this is talking about. You guys are going on separate paths for right now. Yeah, diluted. Tell me, why is love bombing here? New beginning. What's this have to do with my collective? Marriage material. This person's going to come back after they went on, like, a journey of exploring options or, like, maybe with another person having a change of heart after doing that. They're, that's what this is. They're about to go. They sabotage things between the two of you for right now. So it's like you guys are going on separate paths for right now. You're breaking free from this. You're no longer engaging in this. So it's like they are going to have no, you're, you're both going to, you're going on a, dope, a different path. They're going on a different path right now. And it's like, there's going to be this distance between the two of you, but just know that this person is going to return to you. Like, I feel you guys sick of this person, like just wanting sex from you and just not taking you seriously. You know your worth now. So this repeating cycle between the two of you is coming to an end. You're letting them sort out their karma. That's for them to sort out, not for you to sort out. Right? This person's sad over you, though. They're trying to act like they're not, but they are. They're sad over you. They're, they, they're wearing a facade. They, But it's like, I don't know. Why are they not? They're going to have a change of heart. They're going to have a major change in their feelings. And this is maybe going to catch you by control. All right? Um, I don't know. Some of you guys might not want this person when they come back. I just saw 3-3, three, 3-3 three, three, three on the camera. So it's like there's a need for you to make, you feel like you need to make major changes, like probably to protect yourself for your well-being. Um, but it's like they, there was either a third party or in the mix, they had a, a like they had one specific person or they're going to go out and explore another, another option that like they're going, you guys are going down a separate path. I don't know how else to put it. Um, they sabotage this. They chose to ignore something that was a problem, Like they, instead of like, dealing with it or like removing themselves from the situation. They just, they thought that they could fix it or they thought that they would just, they just wanted to, they were going to just deal with it or something like that. I don't know. But at some point this person is going to return to you. Um, this is not a, a permanent separation between you and this person. They're going to return to you and they're going to be coming in and pulling out all the stops kind of like coming in like a lot, like it's me a lot. Cause like they're starting to like awaken to their feelings and emotions for you. And they're going to want to have a fresh start. And it says marriage material, great potential, total package. Is there anything they need to know about when this person, you guys may not want this person, or you may not be like so into them as you were before. Anything else? Yeah. think wanting to clear things up. What about that? This return, this return of them. Life partner. Yeah. They're going to want to like have a union. Yeah. Like an actual union. But see, we have no second chances here. So I don't know. Pride getting in the way. See, I don't know. You guys are going to be kind of like. See, they're going to. Somebody's going to want a second chance. And the other person. See, children involved. What about children? Setting a date. What about children? Not yet certain. What? It could be that this person just super, has been super immature, y'all. I don't really know why the children aspect keeps coming out. It could be the fact, see, they were diluting the truth about it. Feelings of jealousy. What? What does that do with children? I just feel like you guys are, you feel like they're immature. Like, you feel like they're a child. I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys may, like, not really, I don't know. <laughs> you may not want to take this person back. Let's see. 
And then we're going to take it over to the extended reading because I already didn't make this longer than I wanted to. <laughs> It, it will come back. Yeah. They're going to come back. Hidden blessings. No. Okay. And jackpot. Okay. Why is no here? Slow and steady. What about slow and steady? Compromise to advance. Like, I just don't, I don't know. Some of you guys may, I mean, if this is your, your twin, you're going to always have that love or that bond for them. But I just feel like you're just not, you're going to be, take. you're going to move very slow and you're going to be pretty guarded with this person. Why is new connections here? Help. You guys may have like a transitional relationship or something like that. What about what about new connections? Going to take a while. Yeah. For what was this mean for them and their twin? Divine. There was divine timing again. So we what we started with divine timing and now we're ending with divine timing. So it's like something is gonna happen between you and this person and divine timing. But it says just around the corner though. It could be happy happy surprise. What you want wants you. That came out already too. So it's like you may, yeah, use your intuition, believe in your dreams, put your shield down. There's something better. That's conflicting energy, spirit. What what does put your shield down mean for this connection? Let go. They're telling you to stop fighting for this person right now. Learn from your mistakes. Important meeting. Yeah, there's there will be like an important meeting between you and this person. Stay the course. Or maybe you're going to end up, what is that? What is important meeting me for them and their twin? Is this truly what you want? Yeah, it's like you guys are going to be like maybe feeling like you don't know if you want this person anymore. I don't know. Get rid of distractions. Hmm. I don't know. The spirit just says what it is. Whatever it is that you desire, it desires you too. So give me more card about what, what is no. No to what? No to what, spirit? And I'm done. Worth waiting for? So they're telling you to stop waiting for this person. They will come back. Yeah, lies. What about lies? Faster than you think. Yeah, what about faster than you think? Something's happening. Uh, oh, you guys can maybe have a new connection. It's not too late. What's this? Stop putting things off. Prepare for obstacles. This is confusing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, no need to rush. They're telling you there's no need for you to rush into, like, another relationship. Like, you will have opportunities for a new connection to come in. But, like, I feel like there's going to be, like, a sudden unexpected surprise when it comes to this situation. But it's, like, when you, you, you stop waiting on this person, it's, like, when you start opening up to the possibility of something new coming in for you. 